Because in the Vendée, you're on your own. Fully on your own. And you've got to make every decision on your own. And the most dangerous part of the course is in the Southern Ocean. And when you're down there, you could be in a huge storm. The waves can be half the mast height, I don't know, 15, 20 meters high. And you feel very isolated. Down there, there's no rescue services. There's no shipping. There's no fishing boats. So if something happens to you, you really are on your own. It's very hard when I'm at sea for a long period of time. I miss all of family life. There's sleeping in your own bed and being able to make a meal, have a roast dinner, being able to take the kids to school, have a bath with them. But in some ways, it's harder for my wife, Kate. I might be on the phone with her and suddenly a big gust of wind comes. And I'll say, gotta go, hang the phone up, run outside, ease the main sheet, flatten the boat down. And then I might not call her back for a couple of hours. Poor old Kate, she's wondering what happened. I mean, it's definitely harder once we've had the children. I don't think you can prepare yourself for how that will be. The children, you've got their emotions to manage as well as your own. Yeah, we've sort of survived me and six round the world races. Six I think this would be our races. seventh together. Several boats disappearing, you being rescued by various people. Yeah, we're still here, so. This will be my fourth Fondé Globe. I'm a competitive person. And so for me to be in a race 24 hours a day, seven days a week for 12 weeks, is the right kind of race for me. Contentment to me is success. To be successful, winning the Vendée Globe will make me content. And if it doesn't, I'll just have to win another one. <laughs>